Sri Kurbana Maha children, now we are going to see the next topic of here is measurement of relative density. Okay, we can call that instrument is pygnometer or density bottle. Normally relative density to find out by we according to the formula we have to know what is the mass of a substance, what substance, what is the mass of another substance and we have to compare with the volume of it. So mass by volume it will give you what is the density of substance. So we have to find through this process but using this instrument pygnometer it will give you the it will make it will make you the function easily and will give you the reading exactly so now we'll see how this pygnometer uh, is made up okay actually uh, we can call it is a density bottle also this pygnometer made with the bottle like this structure It's made with a glass bottle. So it now I'm just measure take the volume of this is 25 ml of fucking law. So with this uh, made of a glass bottle, it can be closed with a stopper. It has a hole over here, okay. Now. If any liquid which is filled inside this, no, it will it will maintain that liquid with the same volume of 25 ml. When it is excess, also it can flow out. Okay, take a take a this is a pygnometer bottle. Just fill the liquid. It can be any liquid like petrol or diesel or kerosene or water. It can be any liquid. Just fill with that. So it you can fill till the name till the uh, mouth part of the a bottle okay even though what will happen the water will uh, water or any liquid will flows out so when you close that with this stopper so it will remove out the excess water which is remaining so it will maintain the liquid till this neck region so what we, what is the volume of this uh, liquid will carry you know, 25 ml so to understand this better just make note it now with the empty bottle take this empty bottle and weigh this and weigh this with the machine so it will give you the mass no so i'm going to take that it is m1 so m1 is what mass of empty bottle this is m1 okay, just i'm taking this here as a 10 gram okay now fill this fill this bottle with the liquid liquid a this is filled with now liquid a so you it will give you the another mass okay so i will take that as a m m2 so what is M2? M1 is mass of empty bottle. M2 is what? Mass of liquid A with bottle. This is M2. So according to me, I will take here is a 30 gram. Okay. Now, uh, this is comparison between two liquids. No. Again, remove the boiler liquid. Again, fill it with the liquid B. Wait again. This is liquid B. So when I take a weight, it will give you the mass of M3. Okay, first M1 is empty bottle. M2 is a mass of a liquid with a bottle. Okay, and uh, M3 is mass of a liquid B with a bottle. So like this, we have to separate and write this. Mass of... liquid b with the bottle so this is m3 so liquid b can be at 50 grams okay so this is how we have to take now we this is helpful to know the mass of a liquid no so i need to know only the mass of a liquid a and mass of a liquid b so how do we can take mass of liquid way can get liquid way so to get only uh, liquid a i have to do minus of bottle value isn't it so when how do we can write m2 minus m1 so which means it will give 
30 minus 10 it will give 20 gram so this is the mass of liquid a then what is the mass of liquid b so how do you can get so m3 minus m1 so m3 value is 50 then m1 is 10 so it will give you 40 gram so this is how we can find what is the mass of liquid a and what is the mass of liquid b so mass uh, relative density means density means mass by volume we got the value of mass but what is the volume of uh, this bottle is bottle is v you can represent by symbol v it, its value is 25 ml okay so we know what is mass and what is volume density equal to mass of liquid a by volume okay volume is common in both the case of mass a and mass b okay next is mass of liquid b by volume of a bottle so in both the case of liquid a and liquid b volumes are equal so we can strike out and remove that so what which will be remaining density is mass of liquid a by mass of liquid b so if you apply and mass of liquid a and uh, liquid b you will get the sum value here grams no so gram gram is cancelled here relative density do not have a unit so it is no unit this is how with the help of this pycnometer we can find the relative density of an substance now going to see the next topic here is floating and sinking when the object will float in the surface of the water when the object will get sink into the water no all the because of the density okay by comparing the density of any substance any object density of an object it will compare okay density of an object will compare with the density of liquid okay this is how density of an object by comparing with the density of a liquid we can find whether the object will float or sink how do we can know when the density of an object is less than the liquid means it will float Do you understand this when the density of an object or any substance is as a less density when compared to a liquid so what it will do no it will float in the surface of the water quite opposite when the density of an sub of an object when it is more so what will happen no it will sink into the liquid For example, if we can consider it a wooden and a stone. So wood will float in the surface of the water due to it is its density is less than the liquid density. Due to that, it will float in the water. When you take a stone, the density of a stone is more than the density of a liquid. Due to that, it will sink into the water. This is how the object will float and sink depends on the density of an object and density of an liquid hope you understand this very clearly we'll see you on next class children to receive our online lessons please press the subscribe button and you will receive the latest updates thank you